Right, Shalom. <clears throat> I'm going to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honor to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone at Ruel. And as always, peace, blessings, and salutations until the four elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. And I'm not going to make this a long lesson, but I was just uh, watching this clip. This is from uh, the Corey Hogan 5150 show. I, I guess this is the recent one. And uh, they was uh, talking about, you know, the lewd, uh, uh, careless, immoral behavior and, and, and activities that took place at the BET Awards, which, uh, you know, it shouldn't be a, a, a shocker at what they do at these uh, award ceremonies, especially a network like BET, all right, where, you know, it just showcases the pure degeneracy of our people in the form of entertainment. You know, our people, they have no sense of uh, true uh, value and, and uh, you know, dignity. Um, they're the lowest of the low, even though they're perpetrated as, the, as these, you know, prominent figures of society with, you know, all this popularity and fame and influence. And these are the people that the devil rewards, you know, for their, you know, their, their, their willing participation in straight degeneracy. All right. <clears throat> so every year, you know, they, they, you know, give them reward, you know, for their, their, their works. And, um, you know, it's a sad look all around. It's very distasteful when you look at, you know, the overall image of our people and, uh, you know, if you have any sense of decency and dignity, you'd be disgusted. How much more the Heavenly Father, you know, you know he's very disgusted with his people. And that's why two-thirds of them are not going to return. You know, it tells you that in the Apocrypha, you know, that he had uh, separated for himself a grape of the cluster that he made perfect. But, the multitude, you know, them wild grapes, you know, that, uh, you know, because the scriptures say in uh, Jeremiah that he planted a noble vine to him, but it came out to be a degenerate plant. So these grapes that he thought was going to be pure and sweet, they actually grown to be uh, bitter and, and, and poisonous. So that's why ultimately that, that wine press is going to get trampled. You know, all the, 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 the worthless grapes, you know, that have that uh, been brought forth, <clears throat> it's all going to get trampled, trodden down. It's gonna, you know, basically, the Lord's going to leave them to be destroyed because that's all they're good for is destruction. All right? Our people, are they're, they're, they have long been out of there. All right, they're, they're to the point of uh, no return. They're, they're broken re, uh, beyond repair. All right. And that's why we only concern with a, a, a select few, a small number of Israel. So anyway, um, I'm going to play just some of this uh, clip. All right. And you're going to hear Corey. He's pretty much, you know, acting surprised that, you know, what he saw the other night. In which uh, I don't watch BT. <laughs> I'm pretty sure none of you watch that 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 network because it's nothing but pure, uh, unadulterated degeneracy. All right, showcasing our people in 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 the worst case scenario. So uh, I'm gonna play some of this because he's he, they're talking about, of course, the not only the the the, the performances but the way our women were. Uh, portrayed the, the way that they were dressed the way that they appeared and that seems to be the societal norm and standard for the average woman in, in Babylon showing you that you know Babylon is that land of confusion 
you know, the Lord called it right when he referred to Babylon, uh, the great whore, as the mother of harlots, abominations of the earth, which is why it's going to it's going to be destroyed. Because this isn't this isn't to be normalized, but it is this type of behavior. And it wasn't no, it wasn't normal, uh, uh, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago before uh, feminism, before women's liberation. So let's uh, listen a little, for a little bit. Do you see that? What is going on? It's uh, sad. Uh, hey, can, can y'all put this picture up, brother? Yeah. Okay, here's my thing, too, though, because... Uh, no, I did. D, that's funny. Somebody already said for it. I was going to actually say... They, they said D dressed somewhat like that. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie. I, I dressed... I would consider when other people look at me... I would consider it risque when I was younger. But well, now the old and young dress like this. <laughs> I dressed a particular way when I was younger. Yeah, this is crazy. But I wouldn't if I was by myself. Now, let me tell you, if I was out by myself, Chris, I had a different that time. picture, I see. I thought, oh, hey, yeah, buddy. So, so. I just can't that believe looks... that the women are out here trying to demand respect. That's wild. In this cold-blooded city life, yeah. and they are mm. out here dressed like they want out. to be snatched up. Yeah. I, I I just I just sit back and wow. look at it where I'm like, yo, I mean, like, okay, I can't watch this because I know what I think and feel to do when I see these women naked. Before me, yeah, and it's a trap. Right, uh, yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't act accordingly. There was a time where strippers were easily distinguished from the rest of the women. Facts. Now, dressing like a whore is what you do when you step out the house. Facts. Yeah. Attention at all costs. All and what you know, caused that shift over these past decades? You guessed it. That Babylonian wine, all right, in the form of feminism, in the form of women's liberation, all right? Esau knew what he was doing with that whole movement, all right? And, uh, you niggas, you you. This is what you you was the 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 finished product after all those years of indoctrination and mind programming. Let's get a Habakkuk a two and uh, was it fifteen? And it says, "Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that puttest thy bottle to him or her, and maketh him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness." And you can clearly see that our people are completely naked. You know, they have been stripped down of their 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 their, their morale, their morals, their integrity, their, their their character. They have been completely deteriorated mentally, spiritually, fit like just all the way around, just completely stripped. All right. Cause they drunk that 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 wine that that bottle that the serpent gave them, and now the wine in those grapes is is full of poison. Let's get a uh, Deuteronomy thirty two real quick. Yeah, this is a uh, Deuteronomy thirty two and uh, thirty two, and it says, "For their vine is as the vine of Sodom." And of the fields of Gomorrah, you know, in those cities represents uh, pure degeneracy, immorality, all right, lawlessness, because that's what we, that's what went down in those cities, and that's why it got destroyed. Well, you see that amongst our people now; they're they're just complete degenerates now, especially after uh, integrating with the damn serpent. Their grapes are grapes of gold. Their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons. 
and the cruel venom of asp. All right. And they've been beguiled by the serpent. Integrating with them and now look at them. Seduced by the ways of the wicked. Let's go to Proverbs 12 and 26. It says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. Let's look up that word seduce. See, Corey and them is all astonished at what they're seeing, but this this been <laughs> this been happening for a while now. Now remember going back to that that film they cloned Tyrone. All these jakes are being uh, massively indoctrinated and programmed. And these celebrities and entertainers, you know, they definitely had to get uh, uh, programmed so that they can be used to program others. Because you go into that Holly, you go into Hollywood, you become enchanted. You, you're no longer who you who you were. You have to you, you sell your soul and you become a whole different person. All uh, morale, your, your character, everything goes out of the window. T integrity. Now, Jake do have a conscience. But they, they realize that it's too late for a lot of them. So they just continue on. Being high, the high paid slaves that they are, especially these women, they're the weaker vessel. So they're they're very much desperate. Of the lifestyle, feeling very important, being popular, having fame. So they're, the, the women are easily usable by the serpent. So you'll have the Megan and Stallions and Sexy Reds and whoever on stage acting to complete degenerate, teaching the, the younger women to be as promiscuous as they can be because that's supposed to be the new way, all right, where, you know, if you live that lifestyle, you, you're winning. So all the women aspire to be hoes. With no shame whatsoever. All right, so let's look up that word. When it says seduce, the word is uh, the ayah. And it says real or stray, causative of both, cause to go astray, deceive, the symbol, cause to... Cause to make to err, pant, seduce. And it says here to wander about physically of intoxication. Yeah, because they they drunk off that wine. And 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 there you, you everybody can look on their naked the nakedness of Jake. Completely gone, especially these women. Whore culture is a real thing. It took years to to uh to draw out within these women. It really started back as as uh, far back as slavery, when he was turning our women into into hoes by making them his 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 uh bed bed winches. Turn straight, turned them out. You know, and and back then, you know, our women had a, a sense of um, integrity and and, and dignity. You know, they wasn't with that at first. They knew the, the the right thing was to, you know, get married and have a family and, you know, uh, love their husbands and take care of their households. But the 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 devil came in, all right, and, and, and bound up the strong man and, and spoiled his house. He came in and disrupted the, the, the family structure, and this is what we get. As a product, this is the the final results. Because you let the the, the snake sl slither in, and and you know you 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 took a you took some some uh some shots of that 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 hard, and now look where Jake is at. They're spiritually intoxicated, you know, and then when the same hypocrites that'll tell you you know go and vote 
You know, they, they become your uh, your representatives and your in your spokespersons. Like they like they have uh, some type of leadership. They'll shake their ass and, and dress naked for you and then turn around and tell you to vote. You know, acting like they really care about <laughs> your, 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 your interests. But they're being paid to lead you to Satan. It says of sin ethically, wandering of the mind to be made to wander about, to be uh, uh, be made to stagger drunkard. And that's what's happening down here. It says to cause wonder about physically, to cause the wonder of intoxication, to cause to err, mislead mentally and morally. And uh, our, our women and these men, this is what they're used for now. The serpent seduced them and then they in turn, they become the seducers. High paid seducers, enchanters. So they'll make these uh this demonic ass music, all right, and get you in that mode, get you in that energy, and they seduce you. So now little young girls don't they don't see any issue with dressing like whores, and 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 they're little, they're they're little five six year old girls leaving the house, dressed like their moms and and their aunties, and even their grandmama dressing like a hoe. So there's no distinction uh, distinction anymore. You can't distinguish between what's what because everybody look like they selling. So everything has been turned upside down. All right. And that's why this place has to pass away with fervent heat and great noise, man. You know, where it's going to issue in a new heaven and a new earth where everything is going to be righteous again. It's going to be a, a, a refresh of the planet. Because everything is uh, ruined under this under this man's. Uh, rulership especially our own people so uh let me go back to the video that sucks man because hey man look mm. it's what, hey man look it's such a cold-blooded trap how look look hold on he said because he said trap well it talks about how our people that's exactly what they do whether they doing it or whether they being used to do it, they set traps. And especially if, you know, you'd be willing to do anything for money, that, that's exactly what you'll do. Jeremiah 5 and uh, verse 26, for among my people are found wicked men and women. And, and anybody that's at them BET awards and, and the ceremonies and the, the rituals that they uh, perform, which is all satanic, they all are wicked. All of them. It says, as he that set up snares, they set a trap. They catch men. You know, they're really there to catch your, your soul. All right. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. All them celebrities. You know, they're 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 higher paid. Esau gives him, you know, a little bigger piece of uh, the crumb that falls from the table. You know, while, you know, you as a regular uh, being, you know, you working regular jobs and you busting your ass and slaving away. Under these damn curses, man, being oppressed. Being exploited. It says they are waxing fat, they shine, yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. Yeah, they don't care about the condition of our people. Because they're being used to, to further destroy them. All they care about is the, 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 the wealth and the fame. That's all they care about. So they're not going to speak when, when, when it's needful. To speak up when certain things do happen amongst us. All right. And when you do try to speak up, they make an example out of you. Ask Nick Cannon. Ask uh, Kyrie. Ask Kanye. 
you know, DMX tried to say some stuff, they got they got rid of him. Michael Jackson, all these different celebs that did sell out, but they had a conscience and they tried to speak up. They made an example out of them. So if you want to prosper, you can't say anything. You can't judge the uh, the cause. Uh, you know, you you can't speak on the things that plague our our our, our society. Basically, you can't speak upright. Because when you renounce evil, like it tells you in Isaiah the 59th chapter, you make yourself a prey. They will come down upon you and make an example out of you. And our people, they scared to eat. And they scared to, 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 to lose everything that they have. Because this devil gave it to them because they, they, they gave an exchange for their soul. You know? For what profit you... If a man shall gain the whole world and lose his soul, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? It's already sold. All right, it says, In the right of the needy, do they not judge? Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? And uh, the Lord is definitely going to uh, bring judgment on this nation. Let's go back to Deuteronomy uh, 32. Because the Lord said that he's going to re repay vengeance to his, to his people. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm going to read this one. Uh, Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 20. And it says, And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. And yeah, you see it in these in these final times, man. You see the, the type of shit that they talk, you know, especially against the most high, against the scriptures, to try to justify their, their ungodly living. They're 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 definitely very uh, perverse right now. And it shows uh, this is in the CSB. It says, he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what will become of them. For they are a perverse generation, unfaithful children. All right. Let me jump down to. Uh, yeah, this is uh, verse 35. And it says, vengeance and retribution belong to me. In time, their foot will slip for their day of disaster is near and their doom is coming quickly. All right. So the Lord's going to come and deal with our people eventually. But he's going to have uh, mercy on a remnant, which is his elect. They're going to be uh, vindicated. They're going to be justified. All right, he's going to have compassion on his his servants, the prophets, and those that really fear him. But the rest of them, hey, let the let the multitude perish that was born in vain. All right. So let me get this real quick in Jeremiah, the uh, the, the the twenty the second chapter, the twenty first verse, and it says, "But I was the one who planted you." Choosing a vine of the purest stock, the very best. How did you grow into this corrupt wild vine? No amount of soap or lye can make you clean. I still see the stain of your guilt. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken. Let me go back to the KJV. It says, yet I planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then are there turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? All right, when you look up that word degenerate, it's from the Hebrew word so, sawar, and it just says degenerate, which, uh, you know, you could just go through a, the Google uh, definition, and it says the first one, having lost the physical, mental, or moral qualities considered normal and desirable, showing evidence of decline. And in Israel right now is at the as at the lowest it's ever been as in in terms of quality. 
the quality of Israel right now, outside of the elect, is the, is the, is the lowest, poorest quality ever. Okay? You're literally like the heathen right now. In this debased behavior. Our women walking around with, with, with basically a, 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 a net over her whole body with everything showing underneath. You can appear publicly to the world in that attire and think that is 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 fine and normal. And all you're doing is promoting degeneracy and lust. Matter of fact, that uh, uh, that demon uh, Remy Ma, that uh you know she committed adultery on a uh, papoose, which is supposed to be her husband. They got a, a child together, and she broke their marriage. What it was some average ass battle rapper from from Philadelphia, and you seeing she just spiraled out of control, and she don't even have a remorse. She's just carrying herself like, hey, just, life just goes on. I'm gonna still do what I do. Completely degenerated, man. The scriptures tell you about how our women can can be, all witness but little to the wickedness. Of a woman. All right, no shame whatsoever. Hey, the scriptures say in Apocrypha, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. So you can't get upset when you when we call these modern uh, females bitches because that's that's how they portray themselves. They don't they don't show that they are worthy of any kind of respect. It says uh, the base. Reduce in quality or value. Our women right now have no value. All right. None. But they want you like uh, Corey said, but they demand respect. Like you, you, you're delusional. They want you to take them on expensive dates and treat them like royalty, like, like princesses, but they dress like sluts. They advertise in their whole body to the world while they demand respect from you. Completely just like, man, we need a hard reset, man. Degraded, treated or regarded with contempt or disrespect. And that's why you women, especially you black women, you're, you're, the, you're, you're the least desired of all uh, nations on the earth. Th this is how you're treated and regarded in the world. You have no respect. This is why none of the men want to deal with you. Look how you carry yourself. You know, all you got to do is just go, go to where all the activity is at in your city and just look at how our women are dressed. Either they dress like crawlers, uh, street walkers, or they dress like they just stepped, they just got out the bed and, and didn't care. Walking around with a sweats on and, and, and a bonnet and, 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 and flip flops. Or put on some uh, some J's or something. That ain't desirable. So this is yeah, it's, it's bad, man. It says uh, lacking some property, order, or distinct distinctness of structure previously or usually present. It, exactly. Look at how uh, the family looked prior to uh, uh, the civil rights movement. Prior to uh, uh, the women's liberation movement, the feminist movement, look at the family. Look at how our women looked and dressed. And look at how the men looked and dressed. And look at them now. Completely uh, deteriorated, man. It says an immoral or corrupt person decline or deteriorate physically, mentally, or morally. Decline, diminish in strength or quality, deteriorate. So that's that. That's what happened, and that's what the Lord basically seen. You know, I planted you to be a noble vine. You know, you 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 supposed to be that light. You supposed to be that light that shine, right? You supposed to be the salt of the earth, but you you become uh, worthless. Let's go to Isaiah five real quick. Let me go to uh, the AMP.
<clears throat> is uh, Isaiah 5 and 1. It says, Now let me sing for my greatly beloved Lord a song of my beloved about his vineyard, his chosen people. My greatly beloved had a vineyard on a very fertile slope, the promised land, Canaan. He dug it all around and cleared away its stones. You know, because you had uh, them Canaanites that was dwelling there and there was all type of degeneracy there. So the Lord had it to where the Lord was able to clear them out, which the Lord gave us that instruction to go and take them out and don't make any covenants with them. Don't give them a marriage with them. But, you know, destroy their images and break down their altars, etc. And planted it with the choicest vine, the people of Judah. And he built a tower in the center of it. And he also hewed out a vine vat in it. Then he expected it to produce the choicest grapes. But it produced only worthless ones. Going back to what it said in Jeremiah, I planted, uh, I planted you to be a noble vine. But you came out a degenerate plant. You're, 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 you're now worthless. Your value and quality is, 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 is shot. And now says the Lord, O inhabitants of, and hey, we say that about our women today. All these so-called manosphere channels of men complaining and talking about our women and how, uh, uh, uh how far in quality they've diminished. You know, they're talking about their sexual market value, you know, their their uh their virginity. They're saying that it's basically worthless. It ain't worth anything. That's why no men are no longer uh uh, uh taking you women serious. The dating scene, that 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 shit is is done for. But hey, that's how the Lord sees uh Israel. Israel is worthless except outside of the Lord's elect, of course. There's no value to you. You're good for nothing. And now says the Lord, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard, my people. What more could have been done for my vineyard that I have not done in it? When I expected it to produce good grapes, why did it yield worthless ones? So now let me tell you what I am going to do to my vineyard. I will take away its thorn hedge. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cause back in Jerusalem, you know, we were a fortified city, you know, with, with uh, high walls or gates. All right. That would uh, protect us from the enemy and it will be burned up. I will break down its stone wall and it will be trampled down by enemies. And that happened. Uh, with with the Babylonians, it happened with the uh, the uh, the Romans. It happened several times throughout history, and now we're here in Babylon, and you're just now in, cursed in the city. An enemy can roll up on you at any given time. They can uh, set up that trench and 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 uh, fortify around your city so that you can't get in and get out. Besiege you right in these uh, ghettos or in the projects or wherever you stay. I will turn it into a wasteland. It will not be pruned or cultivated, but briars and thorns will come up. I will also command the clouds not to rain on it. So I'm going to just ruin the, uh, the, the holy land and you're not going to get any produce. You're going to starve. You're going to get conquered by your, your enemies. Your land is going to be in ruins. It says, for the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house nation of Israel. And the men of Judah are the delightful planting which he loves. He So he looked for justice, but in fact, he saw bloodshed and lewdness. Basically a bunch of uh, promiscuity, promiscuous behavior, murder, bloodshed. Because our people, they're, they're, they're violent. They're, they're hypersexual and very violent, very uh, impulsive. He looked for righteousness, but in fact, he heard a cry of distress and oppression. You know, Jake marching, Jake complaining, crying about injustices. Jake begging for reparation, Jake crying. It's always an outcry. 
because you under that curse and you refuse to to return to your maker. You refuse to repent of all this abominable behavior, man. And the Lord got his servants, the prophets out there trying to, you know, uh, uh, you know, get you on the right track, the right path. But you refuse to, to hearken. So our women are going to continue to be sluts and whores and degenerates. Our men are going to become, come, continue to be a bunch of degenerates, clowns, effeminate, you know, irresponsible. They're going to continue to do what they do until, you know, they just got to deal with their judgment. All right. And as far as our, uh, cause let me go back to the video. Cause I believe Corey, uh, he mentioned about how some of these women are supposed to be married, but look how they're carrying themselves. Okay, here's my thing too, though, because uh, no, I did. D, that's funny. Somebody already said for it. I was gonna actually say they, they said D dressed somewhat like that. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, go. that, the game. Yeah. It's that she was married. She was. She put everything she, out there to be then? looked at. To papoos. Yeah. Is she still? Married? I'm not sure, but didn't her son just get convicted of? Yeah. So he talking about Remy Ma, which she committed adultery. So. She already then broke that, but hey, let's go to uh, let's go to uh, Amos seven and seventeen, and it says, "But well, this is what the Lord says." Matter of fact, let me start at sixteen. It says, "Now then, listen to this message from the Lord." You say, don't prophesy against Israel. Stop preaching against my people. But this is what the Lord says. Your wife will become a prostitute in the city and your sons and daughters will be killed. Your land will be divided up and you yourself will die in a foreign land. And the people of Israel will certainly become ex uh, captives in exile far from their homeland. And we're still in, a, in the land of our captivity to this day. All right. Dying, you know, getting slain by the sword. All right, under the curse. And our women, they're a bunch of whores. Got all type of men coming in and out of the home because she's in relationship after relationship or marriage after marriage. She's basically, in, in relationships these days are just transactional. So it's like you making a transaction with a prostitute because these women, you know, they care about how much money you spend on them. You know where you're taking them, so it's it's they prize themselves. You know, put a, a, a price on their body. So technically, all these women are, are, are uh, prostitutes, and they even advertise themselves as such because they dress that way. And according to the scriptures, we know in uh, Timothy, a woman is supposed to dress in modest apparel, and nothing modest about our women right now. The black, the, the Latino woman as well. All bunch of hoes, man. And the Lord said that this would happen. And let me get this in uh, Hosea. Hosea 4. And uh, verse uh, 11. And it's in the CSB. It says, promiscuity, wine, and new wine take away one's understanding. You know, and our people, they they drunk that bottle and, and, and became naked. You said you're 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 um you're drunk, but not with a strong drink. Was that in Isaiah? Isaiah 29 and 9, it says, Are you amazed and incredulous? Don't you believe it? Then go ahead and be blind. You are stupid, but not from wine. You stagger, but not from liquor. It's our people right there, man. It says, Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. So, this is the state that our people are, are in. It says prom promiscuity, right? Careless behavior, a state of, of being promiscuous, 
a, a license, a permit from an authority to own or use something, do a particular thing or carry on a trade, in which this devil, he gives you a license to 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 be as uh, sexually, li sexually liberal as you want to be because he's a fornicator and a profane man himself. Promiscuous, wanton, and scriptures talk about how our, our women, you know, their eyes are wanton. Debauch, debauchery, excessive indulgence, and sensual pleasures. Walking around with your ass out, your tits out, twerking your ass in front of the world. Every that's like every time you see them, that's what they're doing. Their little mating call, twerking. All right, it says. Promiscuity, wine, and new wine take away one's understanding. My people consult their wooding idols and their dining rods inform them. You know, because they in the spirit of idolatry. For a spirit of promiscuity leads them astray. They act promiscuously in disobedience to their God. And that's what that's our people. And then these sellout entertainers, them too, all of them. Our women in the clubs acting out. They sacrifice on the mountaintops and they burn offerings on the hills and under oaks, poplars and uh, terebinths because their shade is pleasant. And so your daughters act promiscuously and your daughters in law commit adultery. So this is what they this is what they do. And you men, you know, the Lord got our women in this state because ultimately the Lord looks at the whole nation the way our women are in essence are, are behaving. All right. The whole moral the, the, the whole more of the story is is you be the you behave this way, I'm gonna show you how it feels in in, 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 in my in my eyes through your women. So yeah, man, our, our people are definitely an astonishment, a byword, and a proverb, and they and they you know bring it on theyself. They they per, they perpetuate the stereotype. All right, so you know we're not surprised by the behavior of our people, but we know that this is this is only temporarily, because the Lord's gonna wipe them out. It's gonna be more Israelites that's uh, destroyed than those that are saved. All right. Only a remnant is going to uh, clean themselves up and return. So, uh, you know, I said it wasn't going to be a long video, but hey, you know how the spirit works. But uh, I hope this was edifying, man. You, know, you sisters, you know, feel blessed that, you know, you're not in that estate. You know, and don't let your daughters, if you got them, don't, don't let them watch BET. Like, don't, like, turn that shit completely off. Don't watch none of this kind of shit with your children because it'll corrupt them. So, with that, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and until the next one, Shalom.